you know, yes. let's lose the weight. Right. Um, but like, are we talking about physically active people that are healthy? You know, the protein isn't, I don't think that restricting the protein is going to make them healthier. In fact, athletes, elite athletes are consuming way more protein than, than yeah. the majority of us. And they actually have the longest life expectancy. These athletes are living like up to five years longer. Elite really? athletes, like Olympians and stuff, Olympic athletes. Um, they're living up to like five years longer than the average population, like really? the average person. Yeah. Yeah. Elite athletes, they have a much like up to like 40 to 50% lower cancer incidence. Like they're, they're doing good. Um, and these are again at the elite level, you know, so. That's good to know. Part of me was worried. Like if you're training too hard, does that make you die younger? You know, it's like if you've been training so hard since you're like, whatever, 12 or 15 and you're going for 20 years for that elite level. But I guess you're really optimizing your body too for performance. Your body's very adaptable. And so the thing is, I'm, I'm sure there's the, the outliers that that is true. But if you, again, look at studies that are published looking at generally like, hmm. you know, average population of like there's a French um, Olympian athlete study and then there's like uh, the there's another Olympian athlete study that looks at multiple different Olympic yeah. athletes from around the world um, and then just looking at some of the studies uh, looking at people that have an elite level of cardiorespiratory fitness yes. right so that would be your ability to take in oxygen during maximal exercise as measured by vo2 max um, there's studies showing that people that are in the elite level, so these are the elite athletes, like they're in like the top 2.3% of wow. VO2 max, have an 80% reduction in all-cause mortality compared to people at the low end, like the, the people with low uh, VO2 max, 80%. And what's even more mind-blowing is that, first of all, the elite people, so people that are like, again, these are the athletes, if you compare them to people that are like me, like high, I have a high VO2 max from my age, I'm not, I'm not elite. Like they still had a 20% lower all-cause mortality wow. than, so it seems like there's no limit, right? You keep going up. Um, but the people with the low VO2 max, those people had a mortality that was comparable or worse to people that were smokers, had hypertension, diabetes, 